Okay, so we're back with the last part of this uh, introduction to Construct, but also introduction to game development in general. Uh, great start, great place to start if you are looking to make your first game. Now, we are on the last part of this, so you do need to go back and watch the others. And what we're going to do in this one is add the sound. Now, the recording software I'm using won't allow me re to record the microphone and the sound of this at the same time. So you probably won't be able to hear any of the sound we add. But if you're following along, you'll be able to hear it in your own project. So I've gone to this website called Freesound. You're going to have to make an account and sign in. But once you've done that, you can just search for uh, so uh, sound effects that you want. So we want, first of all, a laser. <coughs> so we want a really short laser clip. Uh, let's, let's. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. Now, again, you probably didn't hear that. Uh, but if I turn up my speaker, you might be able to hear it. Okay, so what we need to do is click on it. And then we need to check here. So we need to check the, if it's a WAV, which it is, and it's 16-bit, which it is. All right, so that's good for downloading. So I'm going to hit download, and that's going to add that there. What I'm going to do quickly is just so I know what it is, I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm going to rename it Laser. Okay. Uh, then we need an explosion. All right. So again, these want to be relatively quick sounds. These aren't playing for some reason. Hmm. Why aren't you playing? It's an MP3 anyway. We can't use that one. Oh, seems to be a problem. I'm just going to reload this. Okay. Uh, explosion. Let's search. Um, and again, we want one that's relatively quick. Oh, that's a bit too quick. Nope, that's too much. Uh, right, and you can. No, too much. You can spend a lot of time going through these sounds, getting exactly what you want. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. It's a WAV 16 bit download. And I'm going to uh, rename that explosion. Okay, and then we want some background music. So if I just put in BG music, will it come up with anything? And this one wants to be a little bit longer. So it stops working after I've downloaded one for some reason. So I'm just going to free sound, load it up again. We can put this on a loop. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> just something. We just want something. I'm going to download that. And I'm going <clears> to. <throat> oh, that's still got some time left. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's any other sounds because right now we've only got the shoot sound, the explosion sound. Uh, I think that'll be fine for this. Um,. Because obviously it's just an example, but you can go through and add more sounds and, uh, and do all that stuff. So while that's downloading, let's go ahead and add these other sounds, okay? So in order to do that, what you need to do is come here to Sounds, right-click, and Import Sounds. And then it's going to ask you which uh, files you want to import. So we can just drag, grab both of those, drag them into there. And then it's going to... Uh, encode them. We're going to hit import and then we'll find our sounds here. Okay, so that's good. Now, do we have to insert them? I think we do. So we have to insert new object and it wants to be audio. And that's all we have to do is that we just have to let it know that 
we want to play some audio, right? So now when we go to our event sheet, we have here, every time we press this, we want that laser sound effect to play. So we go to add action, audio, and we want to play by name. Or do we just want to play? Yeah, play, and then it's going to ask us which one, and then laser, and then we don't want it to loop, okay? And then we can change the volume here and hit done, okay? But we want that to happen here, not here, right? So let's, let's, let's test that. Now, you can't hear that, I don't think, but that is working. Okay, so let's go in and do the explosion. <clears throat> so where do we want the explosion to happen? So any, anywhere where we have this spawn explosion, so add action, audio, play, explosion, not looping. Okay, done. And then we can control CV to copy that and post it there as well. Right, hit play. And then we have those exploding. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, and then for the background music, which is uh, now downloaded, I'm not going to change the name for this. I'm just going to uh, go to sounds, import sounds, and then just drag that directly into there. If it's a little bit longer. It's going to take slightly longer to encode it. And then I'm going to hit import. And then it's just the same thing. So this time I just want that to start at the beginning of the layout. So I'm going to add an event, system, on start of layout. Okay, and I'm going to drag this right to the top because we want this to happen at the very start because it is on the start of layout. And we're going to add action, audio, play. This one with the really long stupid title. This time we do want it to loop. And I'm going to place the volume at... So here it says decibels zero is original is about half as loud. So minus 10 is about half as loud. So I'm going to turn that to minus 10 and then hit done because we don't want that playing too loud. And then when we hit play, we've got background music playing, got full sound effects in. And, you know... That's it, your first game. What happens when we die? There we go. Okay, and that's it, your first game in Construct. Uh, I'm going to do another one of these tutorials where we make a platform. It's going to be a little bit more in-depth and go over some of the other behaviors and stuff like that that we can use in Construct and also like how we create extra levels and do all that sort of stuff. And if you're interested in following along with that, I would recommend creating an account for Construct because if you create an account, you get like 20 or 30 extra lines of code uh, and you'll need those to follow along with the next tutorial series. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that one uh, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one.